Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel. If you are a feminine and or a masculine Scorpio dealing with a feminine and or a masculine Gemini, then this reading is for you. What actions will your Gemini take towards you next? Okay, what will their actions be towards you? Let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, through the power of the numbers, and so it is. We're going to start off using the Kipper deck as an overall message, and then we'll go into tarot to clarify, okay? So rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to, I have the power of number one. Number one represents the magician card in tarot, by the way. So it is about communication. We could see any of the aces kick in. Power of number two. You can see the High Priestess card show up. There could be secrets or you feel that maybe your Gemini has been holding back from you, Scorpio. And if you are a Gemini cross watcher, welcome to Blue Scorpion Tarot. Can't even talk to this morning. My coffee hasn't quite gone down yet. <laughs> welcome to Blue Scorpion Tarot. Obviously, Gemini, if you clicked on this video, is because you are indeed dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, so welcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book that personal reading for you, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of the Two of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like there's somewhere in this connection, something got off balance. It could definitely be just straight up through communication. Power of number 10, we could also see the Wheel of Fortune card show up or any of the 10s out of the suits. Possibly the Justice card, the Hanged Man card, things that have been in flux and or suspension. Things maybe not moving forward as fast as you would like, Scorpio, with your Gemini. Or Gemini, you could feel this way towards your Scorpio. Power of number zero also in there as well. You can see the Fool card. Something about taking a leap of faith or wiping the slate clean or not looking back to past circumstances. But adding up the numbers, looks like we are going to the power of number 13, which is also in representation of the death card. Sign of Scorpio. Major changes or transformations here that want to kick in. Or it could very well be true that the connection between you and your Gemini basically died off. Or uh, this Gemini could have ghosted you, rejected you, whatever the case may be. Take the roles in your situation and how they resonate, you guys. Okay. Power of number 13, what actions is your Gemini going to take towards you next? I'm on the power of number five. This is what flipped out the journey card. It could very well be true that your Gemini may live at a distance or they're gearing up to come and see you, Scorpio. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my viewers and my subscribers. What actions will this Gemini take towards Scorpio next, please? What is, what is their overall message? Wow. The lover's card. And ironically, in tarot, Gemini does represent the lover's card. That would be power of number six, but we also have the power of number 15. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
because number 15 in tarot would also represent the devil card. So some of you might have dealt with the Capricorn in the past or somebody has Capricorn in their birth chart. However, when you add up one and five, what does that bring that to number six? Okay. All right. So the lover's card. I've, I'm feeling here that there is some kind of message or communication in love or that this Gemini still very much loves you, Scorpio, or vice versa. You love your Gemini to the moon and back. Okay. Clarify the energy of the lover's card in regards to Gemini and what actions they're taking towards Scorpio. Okay, the hermit card. Some of them went silent. They went rogue on you, but it looks like they're going to come out of hermit mode. They're thinking about the connection. They're thinking about the physical intimacy. This Gemini <clears throat> could also be watching you at a distance or watching you from afar. You could have met this Gemini online. They're thinking about you deeply, deeply thinking about you here. But it looks like they're going to take some action because how do you go from being in hermit mode to wanting to, because I'm also picking up on the energy of like the two of cups. You know, seeing each other, being able to see each other face to face, especially if you guys have been in no contact, no communication, radio silence. Message from the hermit. Ooh, looks like somebody owes somebody an apology. Looks like this Gemini is going to come forward and apologize. Or they're thinking about this Gemini could have left you for a third party situation. That means whenever I see in tarot and the way that my readings have played out is whenever I see the Prince of Cups or the Five of Cups or even the Page of Cups, the Judgment card energy, because the Judgment card is about begging for a second chance or a revitalization or things that are coming back to life. I feel like this relationship connection wants to revitalize itself, but somebody here owes somebody an apology. A lot of romanticism coming in. This Gemini could probably have some strong Pisces or even possibly Cancerian energy in their birth chart. They're wanting to bring you a romantic gesture. So it is about communication, temperance behind the Princess of Cups. There is an ebb and flow, and temperance can also bring in reconciliation. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition. Either one of you could be like either a tarot reader or an oracle card reader, or one of you has a very strong gift of insight or, you know, psychic intuition. Yeah, this Gemini is coming back, Six of Cups. You might have known this Gemini since you were a child, but look, behind the scenes, behind the high priestess, their intentions here, this is about long-term partnership. This is a twin flame soulmate, 11-11 connection, four of wands. Yep. They're coming in with some kind of commitment. Could happen in the month of September for some of you guys. Give me another message from the lover's card. Yeah, they don't, you two might have had a lover's quarrel or they've been battling within themselves while they've been in hermit mode, how they feel about you, Scorpio. But I feel that there, there was like kind of, I'm picking up a little bit of a tug, like a tug of war, a little bit of tug of war in your connection. Yeah, it is the truth, Ace of Swords, but they do want to bring you some form of truth or they know that they either rejected you, ghosted you, left you out in the cold, etc. However, somebody here is feeling lack or this Gemini is feeling the lack of your presence. Maybe because now that if they went off to go be with a third party situation, 
could very well be true that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. This Gemini could have gotten involved with a fire sign and picking up very heavily for some of them. A Leo. Message from the Prince of Cups. Yeah, boom, baby. I told you. They want to bring this relationship back to life after something went dead we'll say they they're conscious like their consciousness it's getting the betterment of them right now guardian angel activity we've seen it not once but twice but in hindsight the lover's card in tarot has the guardian angel above the two people in that card. But I can also look at the imagery, the two lovebirds, the, the doves, okay? This is this would be like heaven, heavenly energy, divine connection, power of two, mm-hmm. They're thinking about apologizing to you and they will bring this apology because they, they want to reconnect with you. Something hasn't been the same, but in the past it might have been a very difficult thing for them to make a solid decision or they were blindsided to the truth of the connection. Now they want to put in the time, energy, dedication, and devotion and earn your trust back if you feel like your Gemini lied to you. Eight of Pentacles, what's behind there? Yeah. This Gemini could have lied to you because obviously <clears throat> we saw the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about the truth. Okay, so the truth coming forward after there had been some lies. You could have went on the attack of the defense, Scorpio. Maybe you were trying to protect the connection between you and your Gemini or your Gemini was trying to protect the connection between you and them. Maybe because of family dynamics or could have been um, third party situations. But if you two have been in separation, there's been an uphill battle here. Ten of Wands. Somebody's carrying a lot of burden, and the burden is because of some kind of sneaky behavior. Seven of Swords. What is the judgment call? Temperance, I told you. Look at that. This is a divine connection. The idea of being back with you, Scorpio, it's probing at them. They know they need to apologize for whatever. I think they're feeling the lack. They're feeling the lack of your presence. King of Cups, Scorpioonic energy right there. Male or female doesn't matter. There could have been another person. There could have been, this could also be a same-sex relationship that's going on. There could have been an earth sign that got in the way. There could have been parental figures that got in the way or people's, you know, opinions of the connection between the two of you. A lot of you were hoping that this Gemini was going to bring you full blown out commitment, but they couldn't make a decision. It could have been, they might have had other you know, choices or options in love. Why were they so blindsided? I, I'm going to pull out the two of swords. Why were they so blindsided to the connection? Why couldn't they make a decision? Because somebody from their past could have crept back up on them. Or they weren't over the past prior to meeting you. So if they had a long-term committed partnership with somebody, they were not over that other person. Okay. Message from Temperance. Nine of Wands. This is about somebody licking their wounds or somebody's trying to stand tall or strong or be confident or brave or somebody's got their wall up. I feel like Gemini is questioning themselves. 
Should I reach out to Scorpio? Shouldn't I reach out to Scorpio? Well, it looks like they're going to reach out because their, their greater desire here is to see you, to hold you, to embrace you, to kiss you, to make love to you, um, to be connected again. But in the past, you know, they were fighting against the grain. Show me this five of wands. Yeah, they were fighting against the grain about the connection. Here you are. So we've, we've already seen the King of Cups. Now we're seeing the Queen of Cups. So this is a divine counterpart union here. Okay, so they are deeply in love with you, but they were battling their feelings and emotions for you, Scorpio. And I feel like this Gemini broke your heart because eventually it's like everything kind of came to a standstill or the waters were just too calm and not moving forward. Six of Swords in the reverse. Message from the Queen of Cups. Yeah. You might have felt like this Gemini was holding back secrets or they were holding back their deep-rooted emotions for you. They weren't being not their Gemini self and not being over-the-top expressive. You okay, Toto? Oh, my God. But you're intuitive and you felt like this Gemini, yeah, that they are your destiny. That's what I'm picking up. Bottom of the deck, the devil card, power of number 15. There could have been a Capricorn that got in the way or somebody is obsessively, compulsively thinking about you, Scorpio, meaning you're Gemini, because look at this Gemini energy. They, this Gemini, if you were physically intimate with this Gemini, they have not forgotten about the physical intimacy. It's like in, embedded in their brain, in their subconscious mind. They want to. Feel your energy again. See, we've got like naked people, raw and naked and naked. They miss your embrace. They miss your touch. That's what I'm hearing. And they want to. They they want to feel that again with you. They. That's how they felt like. The physical intimacy is what made them even fall in love with you before in the past. Princess of Cups. Yeah. So a lot of them are going to be reaching out with romantic communication. Some of them, it could end up being flirtatious text messages. But, you know, tread lightly. You know, because again, this Gemini has got to prove to you that they really truly want to be with you. Because this is like a sexual energy here. You could have been in a friends with benefits situation. Six of Swords in the reverse. You could be the one that's uncertain when this Gemini reaches back out to you to want to revitalize the connection. You may be, I don't know, you may be like, no, I'm good. I'm I'm done, Gemini. For some of you, not all of you. Um, you but there's going to be some questioning whether or not this is actually going to move into something that is solid or stable because obviously somebody feels backstabbed and betrayed. Ten of Swords. Message straight up from the sign of Gemini. Yeah, they know that they broke your heart. And it could very well be true that this Gemini's, their emotional heart space is grieving because they miss your presence. They miss being around you. They want to reach out and connect with you. But they're, some of them are still thinking. I think they're planning out like an approach. How are they going to approach you? Because they're getting a judgment call. And if they went into a third party situation, then this tells me that this Gemini is about ready to go through a breakup or a breakup has already happened between them and a third party. What is the three of swords? Yeah. Whatever wishes or if they thought the grass was greener on the other side or, you know, having some kind of over the rainbow moment, something came to a halt or to a stop or they broke up with somebody or a breakup is about ready to happen. Could also happen in the month of September or in the next nine days. Some of them could reach out to you in the next nine minutes, nine hours, nine days, the nine o'clock hour. And I think they're realizing that whoever they went off to was not really truly their wish fulfillment. Now somebody's growing impatient. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. 
It could be you, Scorpio, feeling impatient, cut in the middle of the deck. There's the Four of Wands again. A lot of you feel that you're just meant to be with this Gemini or this Gemini is coming into the realization that they're meant to be with you. I think they just don't know how to approach, but they have a major judgment call on their back right now. Okay, in order, they have to apologize. Somebody here has to apologize. And things are going to have to be taken slow. You can't jump back right into where you left off. You guys are going to have to rebuild your friendship. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit. Before anything better can happen, trust has to be rebuilt. Okay, so again, Scorpios, Geminis, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me again, Hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, take care.